I'm in a town called Calipatria. <clears throat> I want to call it Cleopatria. Uh, this is a park in the town. It's a pretty nice little town actually. Uh, but it's in the desert and it's pretty remote. It's a farming community or something like that. There's really no industry and I'm in the middle of a skate park that's completely empty. I woke up in Slab City, spent the morning or the sunrise taking a uh, time-lapse video of the sunrise over Salvation Mountain. Then I came here to this park because that building gives me free Wi-Fi so that I can upload my videos while I'm in this area. But this town is, uh, I guess, about 11 miles from Slab City. See what I can find so I can give you a little tour of a very small town. I'm two blocks from what I think is Highway 101 up that way. And uh, the town is very small. Well, that's it. One or two blocks in either direction. Now I'm in a town called Nyland. I've never been over there, but there's a laundromat. Uh, this is a place to get water. This is the grocery store or kind of general store in Nyland and I'm sped it up but the intention was to show you that there's has a lot of stuff that you might need if you come to Slab City. The grocery store is in one half a building and the other half of the building was burned out. Or just neglected until the roofs fell in. This is obviously a very poor community where real estate has no value. The main industry is farming and so the people that live here may be farm workers. And there's just no money or probably no reason to repair these buildings. But graffiti is pretty cool. third world town in the United States. Next to the burned out section, there's a old closed pizza restaurant. And beside that, a US post office beside the grocery store. I went back to Slab City to paint my roof. This is a time lapse of me washing my, the yellow part or my, the roof of my truck with water and soap. I put off painting the roof of my bus for a year. First I had no ladder and then I kept looking for a truck wash where I could wash the roof. After washing my roof I saw over 200 subscribers on YouTube. Fantastic! This is called Tremplad. It's Rust-Oleum in the United States. This is the roller and brush kit that I picked up at that hardware store 
in Calipatria. This is paint thinner I use to wash my roof before I paint it. This is a rag I will use to wash my roof with the paint thinner. I'm washing the roof with that paint thinner. This is a screwed up time lapse of me painting my roof. I'm not going to make you watch it for long. It's three o'clock and I'm exhausted. I've done uh, the roof of my bus. As you can see behind me, no more yellow stripe on the top. It's now silver. I think it looks finished. I think it looks better. I think I can take pictures of it without being embarrassed. So now it looks complete. It actually looks quite nice now. Pretty, pretty bus. Well, it's the end of the day. It's the end of my day. My sunset looks like this. Uh, in the desert, it looks like this almost every night. Sadly, there's no clouds, which make a sunset much more dramatic and much more interesting. However, I'm really pleased the roof of my bus is silver, so I like it. Looks a lot better than it did when it was yellow, right? The moon's pretty full, and I may be able to take a moonlit shot this evening with a silver top instead of a yellow one. So I hope you enjoyed my little video. Uh, trend clad, or uh, what's it called? Uh, Rust-Oleum is the paint to use. It obviously works. It's lasted on my bus for a year without any problems whatsoever, and it's really easy to apply. So I can't tell you much more about uh, how to paint other than put paint on stuff. <laughs> Anyways, uh, if you enjoyed my little video, uh, please subscribe, please like it. Uh, come back and visit another day. I'll be showing you Moonlight, sunsets, and a silver bus.